we don't do what we love, then we wouldn't exist. Creed 2 dropped last week, and was it worthy for you to go and catch the theater beam, or should you just wait and stream it at home? We're going to talk about it in this video. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host of the Life Games channel, bringing you your life game and streaming or beaming, helping you save money at the movie theater if possible. We're covering Creed 2, but before we do that, y'all know we put on the plus seven glasses of cinema, sexy as hell because we working on stealing up our craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors for this, this video this week, the Robinhood app. If you're not investing in stocks and bonds, particularly stocks, grab the app, it's free. They will even give you a free stock. And also, if you're streaming online, get IP Vanish, put it on your system so that you can keep your streaming protected and private. And go subscribe to the Life Gains Fitness channel I'll start putting my content back up there in January to help all y'all get ready for the new year nice and fit. Creed 2 was a great movie. And if you're not familiar with the Creed series, Creed 1 starred Michael B. Jordan, who is the son of Creed from the Rocky movies, and Michael B. Jordan hit it out the park. And in this movie, same thing. He did a great job. He stole the show this time. I felt like in the first Creed, Sylvester Stallone stole the show, but this time the showstopper, the Shawn Michaels of Creed 2, was Michael B. Jordan. And this was a great follow-up movie, ladies and gentlemen. The movie follows the same kind of rhythm and roll that you're used to seeing from these type of fight movies, from the Rockies, from Creed. They put a little different spin on it, being that with this movie, you got to know the relationship and perspective of Michael B. Jordan's character as Creed because he had a girlfriend that's pregnant. And a lot of us know that when you have kids, it crystallizes life for you. It gives you a new perspective. So with that dynamic coming, as well as the dynamic of this big, huge Russian coming, who just happens to be the son of the character from the Rocky movie. And what they did a good job of doing in this movie is going through his backstory as well. So you got to see what has the big Russian been up to since Rocky? How has he been training his son to be ready for another fight and to possibly knock out and kill somebody in the ring? And their story is one where you see two assholes, a daddy training a young asshole, getting him prepared to go and fight. When it comes to the fight scenes in this movie, they were brutal. They wasn't as long as you might would have hoped them to be, but man, there was blood, there was guts, there was things thrown all over the ring, kind of what you would want to see in a fight movie. With all of these sports type movies, ladies and gentlemen, you know that they all are going to give you a training montage with the old throwback movies, cats running out in the snow behind a car, cats out there plowing wood, doing all these training things to get ready for the battle. Yeah, yeah, you get all that in this movie. This movie is a good cross between, I don't know, a traditional sports story, maybe a little bit of drama because they do go into the backstories of the families, which actually fits this type of action movie. It'd be something like you seeing how they would mesh maybe he-Man is Lord of the Rings and you mesh it with Star Wars. Only this time, y'all, can y'all keep that shit in space? Don't bring it to Earth unless y'all going to have like some kind of time portal where He-Man can go from Grey Skull to Earth. But they've done a good job of bringing that story together. I would highly recommend you go catch the theater beam in this movie to get the full experience. And it's possibly a good movie for you to stream when it comes out whether you want to get it on Blu-ray, DVD, or however you like your streams. But Creed 2 is definitely a good movie. Michael B. Jordan is continuing his excellence from this past year and being Killmonger on Black Panther because in this movie, 
when they get in the ring and they square off, Drago is so much bigger than Michael B. Jordan. It takes an outstanding piece of acting to live up to the hype, to actually overcome what he needs to overcome in that fight. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Go see Creed 2 people, great entertainment at the movie theaters. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.